Hey vlog. So, like I said, I, I got like negative criticism from like a close friend of mine and that kind of pushed me to want to like get my clothes out there. I don't really have like too many pieces at all. So basically, I, I don't know like what kind of price I'm going to do. I hope in the future like I'm going to do something a little bit more affordable, but I know for a fact that when I sell these, it's going to be like a little bit more pricey, I think. Because, like, if you guys like them a lot, then I want to be able to buy new ones and also be making a profit off of it. Like, at least, like, a little bit of a profit so I can have money to, like, replace my paints and all my materials and shit. Since it's going to be all hand done by your girl, Earthling Alexis. I don't know what I'm going to do first. And I hope that um, my pieces aren't, like, biting off of anyone else's pieces. I'm going to try to keep this as original to myself as possible. But especially when, like, you're working on clothes, there's only, like, so much you can do. So, I don't know. I don't really know how I'm going to go about this. I'm just going to start painting on them and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so I'm leaving work. I was just working on my shirt. Is that like work? That? Work. What did you call that fucking work? And it was awkward as fuck because I tried to like leave before he comes there because he really is like my sugar daddy. But he's too old. So I just like, I try to like make a break Take for it. no age. I try to make a break for it like as fast as possible to avoid talking to him at all and he literally popped out like did you even like see him or hear him no he literally just like pops out from the fucking corner he's like oh hi and I was like oh my god I was like I'm just leaving see you later bye and he's and I'm like just standing there like hey yeah all right I'm in your house well anyway I'm working on my first shirt how do you think it's coming like honestly like from a one to ten like you could be honest like so honest on a scale one to ten well, I really, really like the knife for the heart. Uh -huh. So I would say like solid like seven and a half, eight so far. Okay, yeah. I still have like more work to do, so that's good. And I want honesty, so I think this one I'm probably gonna sell. The other one I just like fucking trashed because it wasn't good enough. But I'm gonna add a whole bunch of shit to it. I don't want you guys to see it yet until it's like almost done. Cause when it's like not like <coughs> completely like oh my God. filled, it doesn't look as good. So yeah. All right. So we're at Taco Bell. We're at the same one we gave them like a whole bunch of change, and we're gonna see if they like fuck up our crunch wraps again. No, like tell them before. Don't uh, fuck up. Like? The Hi. Um. What do you want? Oh, you go ahead. Um. Last time we got crunch wraps from here, they were really like thin. So can we like make sure that like they're not thin this time? Uh, were they just regular crunch wraps? Yeah, but we like we got like we got some there stuff. Was, like, nothing. Yeah, like we like we substituted things, and there was like like the least amount possible. And it was falling apart. Just got some juicy, thick, juicy. Fuck <laughs> Taco Bell. Yeah. What is the crunch wrap? Crunch wrap. So if you ever want like a really thick fucking crunch wrap, no, just be like. They made my fucking quesadilla too. Lit. That's girthy, yo. So advice. And they, and they knocked down the price. Advice from Alexis: If you want to get thick, like extra shit without paying extra, complain. They even like they took off of our price. So like you really like they is that like, like fucked up to tell them to do that? It's they just took like, like eleven. No, they took like I feel eleven like they, dollars like, off. I feel yeah, like I feel like they just like they skimp you. So, like, if you complain, it's kind of like you're just, like, getting the right amount that you deserve. Our complaints were justified. Yeah, but I'm just telling other people to complain to complain. Honestly, just do it. Fuck it. It doesn't yeah. even matter. Fuck Taco Bell, yo. Yeah. <laughs> it's so ugly, she cracked mirrors! So, we just saw these, these two little kids. Your mom is so fat, she wears the Great Wall of China as a fucking belt. Your mom is just fat! Oh my god, oh, they're coming, they're coming back. back. Like, look. T -t 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 today, Junior! Oh, you tried though. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Yo, your mom is so fat when she sits on toilet paper it sings A, B, C, D, get the fuck off me. <laughs> Yo, honestly, props to these kids though, because they were throwing <laughs> so much heat at us 
that we had to fucking Google your mama jokes just because how fucking hard they were going at it. I feel like a lot of them, they were just like making up off like the top of their head though, like just like stupid shit. Yeah, they had like maybe like 15 good ones and then after that they were just saying like... The same shit. The same shit that came to their mind. Whatever. It doesn't even matter. We couldn't even do that shit. Fighting with fucking 10 year olds. <laughs> Alright. So I don't know if this vlog is going to be short. Oh my god, it's a bat! Oh, there he is. But, we're at the lake. I'm just going to wrap up here unless I can like talk about anything else. Maybe we could talk about life later. But, oh shit, my shoe's untied. You're saying goodbye to my bong. We were going to have a campfire. But Alexis is a fucking hippie. And she thinks that the insects in the wood are going to suffer if I make a fucking campfire. Which is completely absurd. I don't care. I know someone out there is going to appreciate that. So whatever mess you're talking, people are going to be in my corner. <laughs> yeah, okay. But yeah. Campfires are a crime against nature. It's not that it's a crime against nature. I just don't want to induce suffering where suffering doesn't need to be induced. Oh, Thank you. Campfire. So you're saying there's something living in this piece of wood right here? I don't know. There could be. They don't even know that. Basically, <clears throat> those of you who don't know, I'm a vegan. And everyone always asks me why. And it's not so much for my health as it is for like other animals. So like, I don't really like, if suffering doesn't need to happen, I don't want it to happen. So therefore, I do not, a lot of people don't even know what vegan is. So I guess I'll just explain it. A lot of people don't know, but being a vegan means you don't eat dairy, so that means like no cheese, no sour cream, no cream cheese, no milk, anything like that, and also no meat. I don't do honey, some vegans do honey, I don't. Um, no fish, no nothing, no shrimp, literally nothing that is like alive. Because I'm not trying to induce that kind of shit on anyone else. It's honestly so ridiculous. I can get into like a whole talk about it. But I don't think I'm going to. Because I don't think if anyone's interested in me like educating them. Then let me know. Because I will feel free. I will explain in depth why I'm a vegan and the process that these animals go through. But I doubt anyone cares. So... I've gotten so much love from you guys, even today, you know, it's love, appreciate it, yeah, wavy, baby. Oh, you're ending it? Here's Andrew's tag, guys. Hey, guys. He wanted me to show you that. This is my wall, that's me, and this is Lake Towers, my friends, established in 1912. This beautiful lake used to be a place where the stars used to come. And this piece of history, this piece of history right here, that's Andrews. You like how I incorporate the anarchy symbol? You know why? It's fuck society! You gotta do my outro. Oh. Uh, have a good night, guys. <laughs> it's been <laughs> real. It's been like, I'm like, yeah, just see ya. Bye. Fuck you, no. Have a great night, guys. Stay classy, San Diego. Thank you.